So if you get the drill, that's fine. But all I want you to think about doing now is as soon as that ball comes in and I set it, if the ball's slow, I might wait. I'm just waiting, I've set it, yeah? My midfielder's with me. As Soon as you play it, I'm now losing him to go and support. So it's gotta be that quick. There's no point in a game playing it slow, waiting, because it's so easy to mark, yeah? So what do you want to do? So as soon as that comes in, what are you looking for? Set and then wait for him to go and then go. Brilliant, perfect. So it's got to be quick. You've got to lose your marker. Yeah, we're ready? Let's go. I'm marking you now. Good. Well done. Good. Well done. Brilliant. That's a one. That's what I'm after. The guys that are going to cross the ball, make sure from what area you're going to cross it, yeah? If it's, let's say the ball is played through and you are sort of here, in these areas, you just broke that line. Give me the ball, Jake. So you've got a lot of space in front of you. And let's assume this is sort of where you are, from here to there. This is an early cross in between. People run onto it, yeah? You get further, like here, now, and the space is getting a bit more less in between. This can be a near post cross for somebody to run in. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Again, if you go a bit here, it still can be a near post cross, but it can also be a penalty spot cross, or it can be a pullback. If we get to here, again, we are back to the little flick on the back post, so hang it up. Again, maybe. A near post, if the run is good, but use the run to go to the back post or it's a pullback. First and foremost, when we're receiving the ball in these areas, these midfield areas, so the ball goes back into the big man. Midfield players, when they receive it, if you can, and only if you can, try and avoid receiving it in central areas. Le allow that for your centre forward players. I'll tell you why. When you're receiving it either side of the centre circle here, <clears throat> if he's stopping it, the ball being played into me, he's going to fire the ball into one of my strikers. If we receive the ball in these areas here, two things. Once I break the line, so I broke the line of the first block, I'm in a position straight away where I can either create a 2v1 to try and score a goal here, okay? If it's not on and I go the other side, all of a sudden on the big switch, I get the opportunity to create the 2v1 on the other side, okay? Once you're in these central areas here receiving and it's midfield players, all of a sudden, it's a big, big ask for me to play the ball into my wide player and then try and get beyond my wide player and try and get beyond their back line, okay? If I receive it here on the half turn, slightly wider, okay? Now I can bring myself into play. I might want to overlap him to create that 2v1. The big man comes into play. He might play a little give and go on a 1-2, so I'm the third man, all right? Or... I might even at times want an underlap, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Second thing, you've got that. Don't get trapped, switch the play. Third thing is tempo. Give me the ball, please, Keeps. Third thing is tempo. A couple of times, goalie's had time, he's had time, he's had time, he's had time. When you've got time, all right, Unless you do it quickly, time, if you see something, oh, right, nothing on, nothing on. All of a sudden, if you just go tip and then back, back, so you keep the tempo, the picture changes. Tempo is a big thing. Um, and, and players, if they run with the ball, too slow on the ball, stand on the ball, they delay the tempo, and tempo is important. Um, all right, and that's what happened. Keeper stopped it, looking, looking, the picture stays the same, stays the same, then he tries a hard ball, and it's easy, because you're all set. But keep it tempo. So if you've got time on the ball, so when it comes like that, yeah, give me it back, give me it back, that's it. Time on the ball, yes, tick, tick. Have you seen them when they do it, the top level possession teams? Just go tick, tick. Lend the ball, get it back. Remember one thing, 
these two are moving the ball, right? And I have a player here behind me that I need to defend, okay? When I'm trying to press there, don't go pressing in a way that you're opening that, right? Because in the end of the day, you are defending your way, the way for the ball into a goal, right? Yeah. So putting pressure is something secondary. It's not, it's not the main thing, right? The most important thing is that this one behind doesn't get the ball because if this one gets the ball, how many players get out of play? Two. And if this one gets the ball and we are midfield line of four, how many players get out of play? Four. four. Right? So that's why it's very important. So I like your attitude because you go in and you want to win that ball back. But every time you go, if you go in a way that you don't think about the one in behind, right, it's getting the ball. So go and close them down thinking about where he is. So check constantly and adjust your run that this angle is never open for them. Centre forwards, for timing of your movements really important. Also, if you're playing one centre forward against two centre backs, if the ball's coming out on that side and I come down the line with the man on the ball there, the ball and me coming, it's easy for the defender. Okay? So I've either got to come way off from there or I've got to come off from here. Now, if I come off this centre back in this kind of angle here with the ball there, does he want to follow me? If you... As a centre back, what are you worried about now if, if I come off here and he comes with me? All that space there, okay, which would be exploited during a game by somebody else. So think about making sure you're coming off at angles. Okay, well done. Can I just use you as an example here if you don't mind? Just to say, there was a moment, turn, I'll give you the ball, face the other goal. That's just there, that's fine. There's a moment where you had him like that. When you get him like that, then you're trying to keep him going that way. He got a chance to turn and get back round and look at you again. Try, if you've got him facing that, go, turn around again. If you've got him facing that way, try and keep him going that way all the time. You don't want him getting a chance to turn and play forward or beat you. So try and make sure you stop him getting round and looking at you. For example, I put the ball there. You need to speak okay. with this one. To go there. Okay. Okay? Because yeah. if he's here yeah. and you are coming here, for example, the fullback is there, he's completely alone. Okay. And the other fullback has to leave his position. Yeah. So the ball is there. Or is there? If he's there, he's coming alone. Mm -hmm. You can't go. He can't go because if he goes, you off. Yeah. the space is there. Basically. If you are coming, the space is behind you, who should we go? That one. Okay? So you go in there, go, then you here, the other one more or less here, and then the other winger there. So have you seen? Two fours. Okay. But always one. Then is the opposite. The ball is going there, and this one is coming here. That one should go there, yeah. you here, the other one here, and then the other winger there. Okay? Stay here, don't worry. Stay here. The line. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, Greens. Well done, Greens. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, Greens. It's not easy. Any poor pass leaves us very open, okay? If he has a man, 10 yards the other side, what would you do? Yes, but if they were marked, what could you do with him? You could, or get it back. So you could use him, so, yes, and again, and then play, because what will what will what will the opposition do? 
Pasti kembali lagi. Yeah, he will probably come with him and then you can play the other side. Yeah? Good. I kind of work with the ball in three stages. So build up one is in the defensive third, build up two in the middle third and break through in the final third. Um, so today was build up one. So the goalkeeper becomes your spare man. Um, you need the other players to have the trust in him with his feet. So, you know, whenever he's got it, if he can draw the player towards him, then there's going to be a spare player somewhere. And then it's about finding that spare player. So you can use other players as a bounce or the goalkeeper can actually play it there himself. Or he plays over the pressure and, uh, you know, plays into a spare man there as well. As two centre-backs and a defensive midfielder, we have a 4v2. We have a, a diamond shape. So we're always trying to create a triangle in that. So we have a triangle here, triangle there, and you'll see the triangles throughout the pitch. So you always have an option, either side. Good. Play! Good. Less touches. Go and score. Go and score. Good. Bagus. Okay, hold it there. Hold it there. That's when it's not on. That's when it's not on. Yeah? I'll tell you why. That's the type of space. If he holds his position there, that's the one where it's right between the two reds. Okay? If he comes off the line a little bit to receive, that's the one where I can get you in as an overlap. Because if he received the ball there and it goes wide, play the ball into him, go run round him. By the time you've got there, what's your thought? By the time he's running around there, what's your thought? He's in a position where he can cover it, becomes a 2v2, all right? Get in position, get on the ball here. As he's about to play the ball, he'll apply a little bit of pressure. I just want you to run on the inside of him and see what happens. Quick, quick, do it quick, do it quick, do it quick. Okay, see the difference now? Even if he gets attracted to the ball, all right, and he deals with you, where's your next pass? Okay, so make it happen, give it me. I'm gonna do your job. I want you to do the exact same movement, okay? Give me a bit of whiff like you was, because he can't go round you, yeah? He's got to go underneath you. Apply the pressure, and all you want you to do is run, and then you make a decision, okay? Stop, now then. See, we've attracted him, so where's your next pass? You can come back with me if you want, but, yeah? And then we can get an opportunity to create the overload on the other side, all right? So when you're doing it and you're switching the play, you're trying to turn every opportunity into an overload in your favour, whether it's a 2v1 or a 3v2. And by the time we've got two defenders on that side of the field, we should have at least a 3v2 on the opposite side. And it might be you're running with the ball, or it might be a big switch, or it might be one, two, and then we get the over overload. Does that make sense? Yeah? Does that make sense for you fullbacks as well? Okay, if they're slightly off the line, yes, go round them. If they're touching the line, right in between the centre half and the, uh, and the fullback. <laughs>